Today I'll be showing you how to work with the Layer RGBA node, which is a layer stack system similar to Nukes and Photoshop's way to blend different textures together or grayscale values or normal or displacement maps. And this node is a little bit hard to understand just because of how it works. I got lots of questions in the comments below how to actually use that node in general. So I'll be going into detail how to plug in texture maps, how to plug in PNGs, how to do stickers on top of that. Yeah, just in general how to make use of that node. So be sure to to follow along. I'm going into detail. It's a, it might be a bit complicated, so be sure to check it out. Don't skip. You will miss things and enjoy this video. All right, let's get started with the layer RGBA node and you can use any other DCC as well to follow along. As you can see right now, we, I do have my inputs here. If you don't have them, just right click the node and say uh, edit custom attribute li list and then you can just click on the inputs you want to see above and then just click to the side to confirm. All right, so this is the default node. You can see layer one is enabled on default. And if I plug that into my shading engine right now, you will see that everything turns black because layer one um, is active, right? So um, let's say I want to have um, layer two enabled and I want to have a red layer. You can see nothing is happening. And the reason is that layer one sits on top of layer two, which means that this is above this layer here, right? So you will never ever see anything um, if this is the order you wanna have it. So if I disable layer one, you will see layer two is poking through. And this is essentially how this whole stack works. So um, the bottom layer here is the one which sits all, like layer eight is all the way at the bottom and layer one is all the way at the top. So if I enable layer eight and I wanna see green, it won't work. Uh, because layer one is blocking it. If I disable the mix for that, you will see layer eight is poking through. So that is the order of this node tree. Um, what you got to understand then that these operations, the blending modes, they work a little bit different, not, not so conventional as in Nuke or in Photoshop. So let's say I want to um, add these two colors together. Obviously, let's pick a, a, a green color, for instance, here. And let's say we want to multiply, or let's say we want to plus or add them together. So typically what you want to do, um, or how you would do it in Photoshop, you will take the top layer, and you would say, I want to plus it with this layer here, right? Um, so let's just, let's just change the mode to um, add or is it plus, uh, I keep mixing it up, it's plus. So if I want to plus them, you can see nothing is happening. And the reason is that this layer is trying to plus something with, with the layer above it, which doesn't exist. So um, it works a little bit different. So you just set this to whatever it was. And now let's go to layer two and hit plus. And now you will see that they will actually be added together. So how it works, layer two is considered to be layer B and the one above it is layer A. And now if, I, if you check in um, the math of the, of the node, if you bring up the docs from um, Arnold, you will see that the plus operation is A plus B. And in the case where I was trying to change the blending operation on the top one, which is considered B, there, there is no A, that A does not exist, so nothing is happening. So whenever you want to do these multiplications, you always think the current layer is your B stream. And that is quite important um, for other multiplications or other blending modes. So let's say I want to uh, multiply things together, right? You need to understand that you, if I multiply this here, um, this will multiply all channels and it will obviously be black. So obviously you would need to have some different colors to get something working with a multiplication. But the idea is that um, the bottom one is the one which is essentially doing the heavy lifting. Also, um, it is the combined result. So let's say I'm in layer eight and I want to use, let's say a multiply operation down, down below. How it works is that all the layers above it, so everything up to layer seven, um, the result of all of this will then be multiplied if I change my blending mode to multiplication, it will be multiplied with layer eight. So this is layer eight, and this is um, layer one uh, to seven, right? So this is essentially how it works. All of these guys will be multiplied with this layer below. And this is just theoretically how you understand and how you need to understand how this node works. And so let's dive into a few examples here. So let's just um, disable these nodes. And let's just, because we know the orders from um, 
bottom to top so eight is the bottom let's just start i have this um, wall asset somewhere let's just quickly find that let's see it's this one so let's just plug that into layer eight and see what we are getting if i visualize that uh let's see this needs to be an over and then we can see we have the wall asset so obviously now let's just um, add th this this mask key on top well actually let's not just go there just yet let's use something with an alpha map uh, which is this one so this is a png it has a built-in alpha channel so if i plug that into the input number seven and i enable this you will see it is just overlaid and you can obviously use a uv transform quite quick to offset things show uh well and then uh, you just plug that into your um, pass-through node and then you um, connect that out to input number seven like that and then you can now essentially just offset this and rotate it at whatever you want to do with this um, to place it right so and you can see if it's a png it will automatically cut it out as you want it to be right so that is one example so the next one would be let's say we want to add these cracks right so we put them into uh, input number six and if i enable this you can see now we do have those cracks here um, obviously we don't want to see them we want to kind of multiply the dark area so again as i said before we cannot set the blending mode on uh, layer six we need to set it on the layer below because this is the b stream and this is the a stream right so if i now go back to um, layer seven and i switch this to multiply you will see that the cracks are being multiplied with the layer below it right you can see it's only happening on um, this layer here and it's based on the alpha mat so um, you can change the alpha mass as well to um, get your results a bit differently but you can see that layer 7 is now multiplied with layer 6 and you can see the cracks in the rust essentially Another cool thing what you can do with the layer RGB is you can um, mix in normal maps. So if I plug in two normal maps into input one and two, you can now see I have them both stacked. If I disable the one, you can see the other one poking through. And what you wanna do, you wanna set the top one to be normal map, which is all the way at the bottom. And now you have the option to actually blend these two different normal maps. And it takes actually the vectors in properly and it will merge them in in the right way. So this is a nice way to blend in two different normal maps and you can also add more and more and more and stack them together to create a nice stack of your normal channels and now another thing which is quite interesting if you use layer rgb um, to blend in uh, if you want to blend in grayscale values um, it's also quite easy to do that as well so if you plug these two maps together uh, you will see that um, the top one is obviously in layer one if i enable layer two and disable that you can see this one is poking through so again you can use regular just blend it in it's, it's not really what you want you probably want the white stuff to be on top so then you obviously use your blending modes and in this case you would use the max operation to only get the whiter spots on top and you can also use the screen operation um, or the plus operation to just add these the brighter spots on top so this is now typically uh, typical to photoshop um, blending modes and you can quite easily just um, do that with these blending modes so this would how you would combine grayscale values you can do the same with displacement maps so you can use them add them in the stack and then just use operations to blend them together so to sum it all up you can use um, obviously the layers and again this is from top to bottom so again uh, this one is always considered a and the one below it is considered the layer b and also quite important is that if you use multiple uh, multiply operations or any math which um, needs um, multiply or divide you will need to understand that everything above this current layer will be considered as a and then the operation let's say multiply will be multiplied with this layer b and also the alphas of the one above will be considered so if you merge your alphas together they will also be applied with this operation so i hope this is a bit more clearer how this layer rgba node works i know it's quite different than the typical photoshop layer stack but I think this should explain it a little bit better. Mm -hmm.